Hey guys, hopefully this will work. I'm not real good at video or anything, but um, so what I'm going to uh, demonstrate is kind of like my technique, the stuff that I use to do alcohol inks on plastic Yupo paper. You can buy this paper uh, online, um, Dick Blick, Cheap Joe's. Uh, I get mine on Amazon. You can buy it by the sheet or you can buy it by the roll. I buy it by the roll because the sh you go through it really quick and it's not cheap. You know, it's plastic paper. It's not cheap. So I spend maybe, I don't know, $130 for a uh, five foot by 30 foot roll when then I just cut it with scissors measure it you can make big ones small ones it's works pretty good you know um, so let's see so I'm going to um, first tell you what I use um, now alcohol inks are a highly concentrated uh, medium and um, Here's some right here, if it'll focus. Yeah, there you go. Crazy webcams, I swear. Anyways, this is um, this is a uh, Tim Holtz Ranger Ranger inks. Okay. Um, this is about hmm. I think it was about between seven and ten dollars for three. Um, I have a Hobby Lobby here, and I have a Joann's, and I think a Michael's art store. And Hobby Lobby is pretty good because they have a forty percent coupon. Off, you know, so you get the coupon on your phone or print it out, bring it in, and you get forty percent off. So I end up paying I don't know maybe five bucks, five to six dollars for three of these. Um, you can also order them online um, on their uh, Ranger Inks website and they've got tons of colors there tons of colors um, and I've done that um, you can also get it on Amazon um, in the stores they usually just have these three packs and it's like you want one color but you got to buy two other ones to get that one color so I don't know you can figure it out but there's also another manufacturer which is uh, Jacquard Pinata color this one's uh, passion purple so I can hold it up here Okay, and these are about the same. They're a little brighter. Um, I think they're. I, I get both of them. They, these are highly concentrated and they're alcohol-based inks. Um, it's not regular ink. And what happens is when you put them on this plastic paper, they they actually like they become part of the paper. It's just you can't you know, uh, really remove it all if you ever get it on there by mistake. Okay, so that's the inks, okay? So I've got, I've got my little, little box of inks here. Um, there's also an alcohol uh, blending solution. This is about five to seven dollars and it's, um, I have it I use it very sparingly because this is about eight or nine dollars and this is for removing the ink from the paper it doesn't remove it all but it does a pretty it does a pretty good job um, and let's see what else um, and so what you do with this uh, alcohol ink is uh, like just think watercolor but um, your water becomes rubbing alcohol. I get the 91% because it melts the inks on the paper really good. 70% um, will, will not work. So 91% and above, and it is flammable, and so are the inks. 
So if you do this, make sure it's like well ventilated, no open flames, fire extinguisher. Um, I've never had an issue. I think I've been doing this about three years. Um, I paint in my garage, which is kind of like my art studio man cave. Parked the car in it. Car is over here. I'm over here. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, just you pick this up. You can get it, you know, anywhere. I get it at a CVS pharmacy, a Walmart, you, anywhere. Um, but this bottle will last me probably maybe three to four months if I paint something every day. Okay, so we've got the inks, got the alcohol. Now, what do I put the alcohol in? I put it in a glass jar. Okay, these are jars my wife buys this crazy honey from someplace but the jars are like real thick and they have a lid and stuff so it works really good and have two glass jars one that you put when you wash wash your uh, brush out in here you know it ends up getting dirty right and I end up putting it in here and um, Sometimes I use this dark ink if I'm using a, a black part a black or real dark color of ink, you know I'll you know have to wash the brush out in here first or you contaminate the one that's you try to keep this one as clear as possible It's never gonna stay clear, but you'll see what I mean <laughs> Okay, so I've got the jars I got the alcohol um, I have the Yupo paper. I like taping it down with a little bit of this Okay couple on the edges and then brushes I just went to an art store and um, I have this kind of a fine tip um, I don't know if it's a natural or what it's all all the writing is worn off of it but um, believe it or not I've probably I've probably done 200 paintings with that one brush and it's kind of a, for the small detail stuff you know and then I picked up um, this gender uh, they're water brushes are for watercolor right and um, get up on Amazon I think I paid six maybe six dollars I'm cheap so I'm not gonna spend a bunch of money doing this so these have a reservoir. They're they're good because uh, you can dip it in the alcohol and it makes it go faster. It makes everything go faster, right? And they come apart, right? You don't put any ink in this. At least I don't. Um, but they come apart so you can clean it. But if you uh, if you dip it in the jar. you know and squeeze it a little bit and re and release it it'll it'll pick up some of the alcohol just fill it in so that if you're doing a big piece it just it it, it helps okay and one one good thing about this uh, medium is that the brushes do not do not get messed up you know like say I do acrylics also I have separate brushes for that and the brushes get splintered and the hairs get funky and um, they get loaded up with dried paint that doesn't come off with this alcohol these brushes just amazes me they just they stay like new I mean they're it's pretty amazing okay okay so we got the brushes um, what do I put the ink in I found the best thing is a uh, let's see if I can maybe turn this camera a little bit like that um, I used to use these plastic cups but uh, little cups you know cuz cuz the ink is expensive you don't want to just squirt a whole bottle in there and you got like five six dollars worth of ink in there and you know what if you don't use it all you can always always reconstitute it with the rubbing alcohol that's that's a good thing too kind of like watercolor okay um, but this glass these are, these are called dappen dishes and they're uh, 
let's see the 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 salons that do uh, women's nails they they use these things for I guess colors but they're glass Amazon I think I got about 10 or 12 of these for maybe eight to ten dollars cheap but they're cool they're, they're like little mini shot glasses okay they have the one well in here that you can put a couple drops of ink in there for your painting and then there's another well on the other side too so you can you so you can uh, you know you can double it now that when you when you put ink in here it stays liquid for about depending on the temperature like uh, during the summertime it, it, it evaporates right the alcohol evaporates out of the ink and then it just then it's dry and it can evaporate within 10 seconds you can reconstitute it by putting a little bit of alcohol on here with your brush okay so this is it's my collection and I use these a lot focus great come on it doesn't like that yeah how weird oh I must be seeing a reflection okay so these are the uh, these are the dappen dishes don't use plastic because it'll the, the ink will soak into the plastic just like it soaks into this plastic paper if you use little plastic cups you'll be wasting all your ink now this you can reconstitute it just put a little alcohol in here and it'll you can use it again okay so we got that um, now uh, what I also use okay to sketch something out I use these paper mates paper made ink joy I got them at Walmart cheap four or five bucks for a bunch of different colors right um, now all of these uh, here's my my pen collection okay okay now um, the reason I use these is because they're they're good for uh, for sketching something out you can't you can't use pencil on this at least not in this t this the way that I, I, I make my art with this alcohol ink you know you can uh, you can sketch stuff out with this and the alcohol will melt this so there's one color let's try purple okay maybe uh, this color here really gets bright when you get it wet now there's uh, there's some other ones that work like here's a a big crystal I bought a whole set of these but only a few of, few of them melted with the alcohol the other ones just sat there you put alcohol in it and it just did nothing so useless but the ink joy melts really good and I'll show you uh, I'll show you where's my Okay, let's get some fresh ink on here. Let's get a brush. Okay. See how that's just melting it like watercolor? All right. There's a purple couple blacks and there's really no true black in this medium they sell black but it's kind of like a super dark purple okay so now the next thing okay so use those pens and then then you can use sharpies okay um, here's some uh, Here's some fine, ultra fine point, and these last you a long time. I mean, if you keep them, you know, 
keep the lid on them, keep them from drying out. You can use the uh, permanent ultra fine. And then you can also use regular Sharpies, which are fine, right? Fine ultra fine. Oh wait, that's that double one. So say like fine point, that's it. So you can use the Sharpies and melt those also. Blue. They never tell you what color it is. But I buy these by the big packs to Walmart cheap. And I use I use uh so I use the pens for sketching and adding color and shading and stuff. It melts really easy. It's easy to move around. This is more permanent. You can still melt it. But it'll leave that line there, okay? Now, if, it, if you're trying to get something, uh, you know, a lot of color on there, it doesn't really matter. But I use it. It's a supplement to these. It's a supplement to these inks. Because I try to get as much color because I like a lot of color like most people. Okay, but most of all these Sharpies melt also. Okay. Okay, what else? Um, okay, so, and then once you have uh, whatever you're doing, you know, uh, a lot of people uh, with this uh, medium alcohol inks and UPO paper or just the alcohol inks, they'll either, uh, they'll, they'll use the inks on, um, on tile or anything that's kind of plastic, you know, um, or they'll take UPO and they'll just start just, you know, dropping the inks on the paper and then moving it around like that while it's wet and then it gets this really unusual patterns and stuff. You know, I use it to do, I don't know, landscapes, uh, celebrity portraits. So here's just regular alcohol ink, okay? Now you can need to buy some more. I've used these for probably two years. I mean, I've it's so concentrated that so then if you drop it on there and you'll see it'll start moving around like that. It 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 goes out in a circle. Okay? And you can mix colors together. Here's a here's a purple, passion purple. I like, <coughs> excuse me. I like the orange, orange and purple make a really a, almost a darker color than black if you if you mix them together on the page. See how dark that is. If I can move the table oh, there. Okay, that's pretty dark, isn't it? No, and uh, so sometimes you can drop, put a drop of this on there, and get weird effects. See how that's moving? Um, they don't really have a white, you know, you can buy white, but there's white, there's a silver that I bought, there's, uh, let's see if I can find it here, uh, 
be nice to have a, some kind of a holder for these things because I built one but it eventually broke. Like here's a gold and what it is is they uh, they put the pigment in this alcohol solution. There's a metal ball in here that you have to shake to mix it all up. So uh, same with the the white. I don't think the white has a has a ball in it. It might, but um, it's kind of a transparent. I mean, it's you try to preserve the white of the Yupo as much as possible. You know, if you're needing that white, and I, most artists like white. Okay. So you can, uh, you know, take your alcohol ink, like here's this purple one right here. This is always blurry. There. And you can see how brilliant that is. It's in person. It's 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 a lot more brilliant. Now what I also do is um, I'll use uh, I'll use Q-tips or rags for effects. You know, once it's dry, if you want to remove a little bit of it, you can take a Q-tip. It won't take it all off, but it'll take a lot of it off. Um, you can you can get it to blend on the paper. Okay. Um, then I also, on occasion, I'll use a, a paper towel or a little little cotton. Uh, let's see if I can find it. There's my wife's pajamas that I I cut up. <laughs> Her old pajamas. I cut them up with scissors. It's real soft cotton. Slides real good on the paper. That's why I like it. So if you put a little bit of the rubbing alcohol on there, and you want to make like some kind of a sky or, or something, you want to blend the background, you can use this, and it'll just blend it right into the paper and give you kind of, you know, just a smooth background if that's what you want. Do all kinds of stuff. Here's a yellow one. So it looks like watercolor, but what I like about this, when you put it on really thick and you just keep layering it, it, it it almost looks like it starts painting itself. I call it alcohol inks, the paint that paints itself because it'll, uh, you'll have, uh, I don't know if it's almost like marble like, but it'll get, it'll, it, it really, you can get some pretty cool effects. Now, uh, let me move all this over. It's, I'm always running out of room. I'm always, I could have a table that's 20 feet long and I'm, I'll still end up with so much stuff on the table. I'm sure some other people have the same problem. Okay, so. It was a quick sketch of I, that I did. Cat hair. My cat George likes, uh, he comes up here and hangs out with me and watches me paint sometimes. Now this is just ballpoint pen. So you could just use that ballpoint pen like, you know, and not even buy the alcohol ink. I buy it just because it. sometimes I need certain bright colors and certain effects. But, I mean, it's 
five bucks for a bunch of these things, you could do a bunch of paintings with this compared to buying the expensive, you know, artist grade, artist quality, expensive paints that they sell, you know, the ones that are $50 a tube and you need 15 tubes and you go, wow, I'm broke. Now I found this medium, um, there's, a, there's an app called Periscope, it's a Twitter app, live streaming for all kinds of stuff. And one guy in New York was doing these paintings with this stuff and I was going, what is that? And then he told me what it was, I communicated with him through Instagram and he told me his technique and what he uses and, and and that's what I did and I figured I kind of figured it out it was like a learning experience and I, I couldn't find any information on YouTube there might be more information now but but you can quickly can quickly uh, do things with it and I've had my wife do some she did some kind of stuff kind of kind of look like a stained glass you know um, It's pretty easy to uh, it's pretty easy to use it's pretty easy to mess up but I've been doing it for a while so I kind of know not to go crazy with it at first you know you do your work and then um, take a break put it up on the wall look at it needs this needs that you fix it that's usually what I do and when I get tired of using this medium then I'll go to uh, acrylics you can't do everything with this but when it you know, you get some neat effects. There's and now one thing that I've noticed that say like see this guy the side of this guy's face. Um, so you're painting it and if you were to take and and drop a bunch of this ink right here it, it likes to go out in a circle okay perfect circle sometimes it, it will take take the side of this guy's face off okay it'll melt it all but if you go in there and you start wetting it with alcohol right up to this face then once you drop it on there the alcohol will go but it'll for some reason it'll it'll stop right there at that line wherever you've gotten it wet it's kind of a control technique kind of shiny from the lights up here but uh, 
but you get it. And one color that's really cool is this. Uh, I think it's called in, yeah indigo, and it's super. I mean, super dark, and it's blue. Almost looks black. Let's see if I can get it over there. See how dark that is? And you get it wet. And sometimes I'll just uh, I'll still paint from up here and bring it down. You know, use it for darks. The ink goes a really long way. Anyways, okay, I think that I think that covers it. Um, yeah, so you know, if you ever want to give this a try, give it a try. Um, I'll show you one that that's done. How's that? I have several of them. I have some some really big ones in the house that I did, and I I put them on uh, wood panels. I've done probably 40 or 50 of them. I had a, a commission. One guy saw it in New York, and he really liked it, and so he commissioned me. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. It was uh. I think he commissioned like 41 superheroes. Kept me busy. Let me find this. There you go. So here's one. I think I've got a video up on it. The Colonel Colonel Kurtz of the Apocalypse Now. This one I put a lot. I put a lot of ink on it. You can see it gets kind of a texture. Um, this this is glued to the wood panel. Let's see if I can bring this up a little bit. Yeah. So this is a wood panel right here. I made this with just some scrap wood and then I figured out how to make it and I went to a molding shop here in town and bought big eight foot sections of it and then I have a power miter that I was able to make them lighter. This is pretty heavy. I made them lighter so I could ship them to New York and it wouldn't cost so much money and they were just as strong and I paint them black. It's usually, a, I think it's about a semi, maybe a gloss black with a brush. Um, okay. So there's that, and I think uh, I think that's all I have to um, all I have to say. Okay, so go out there and um, pick some of this up if you're into uh, making some art, doing it in a different way. There's not too many people that that do do it this way. I haven't seen very much on it. I belong to a Facebook group. Where there's a lot of people on there, and so some of them do. Uh, most of them will take it and they'll take big sheets and they'll drop the ink and then move it around and then get all these all these different effects. But but you can see that it's you know it, it just it's cool. Just you just melt it away. You melt those little. Melt it all together. Huh. Okay, anyways, this is Joan. Thank you for watching. Um, 
any questions just go ahead and uh, put some comments down there and I'll I'll try to answer it but uh, it's pretty uh, it's a fun cheap easy way of doing things and you know when I very when I first got this got it in the mail I think I ordered it on Amazon I didn't have any of this paper and I wanted to try it out so I had a sheet of plexiglass clear plexiglass I have a bunch of that in my shed and I took a piece out and I I painted a lady on there which I drew it out with the sharpies on there and then put the ink on there and then it was really cool and then I put a uh, my son had done a painting of a wave a beach he's not a very good artist <laughs> but he did a big painting of a, a beach with waves and it didn't come out right but it was a lot of blues and greens and I put that behind the plexiglass and said wow that looks cool because you could see this lady and then there was a background it was almost 3d and I put that in a frame and it's hanging on the wall anyways this is John I'm out bye